So in our last video, we created um, everything that we needed in order to update a contact. Uh, we created the update and save functions as well as the display form function. Um, those took a little while just because it was kind of tedious going through and adding all of the uh, different fields and the um, setting up the query. I am going to build the uh, display category form right now. It's pretty short so it shouldn't take too long. Um, so I'll jump right into it. Opening and closing PHP tags. Uh, create an h3 tag. We'll give it a class of gray bg and we'll give it a name of category. Uh, we'll create a form. Give it an action of nothing so it goes back to itself. Uh, method we're going to be using post name is equal to category form not really needed but it helps you uh, identify what the form is and we'll give it a label for cat name and we'll give the label a text of category name Uh, input type of text. Give it a name of cat name. ID will be oops, cat name. Value. And we're going to spit out whatever the record cat name value is. Oops, close out that field. We're going to add in a link going back to list.php which is going to act as our cancel button. So we're going to do a class equals cancel. And then we're going to give it a text of cancel. And below that, we're going to add an input type of submit. And give it a name. Oops, name equals submitted. Value of save. We need to add in our div class of clear and we need to put a hidden field in as well give it a name of ID and set the value equal to whatever our record ID currently is and I need an echo statement there And that is it for our form. Um, so we are just having one uh, input field and one submit save button. Um, so I am going to jump over to our functions piece here and start right in on these. So that way I can try and get this video done in one shot. Um, so I'm going to work on the update category. We need to set up a new connection. Gonna build our query equals to update categories set cat name equal to where ID is equal to the post. ID value. All right. Now we need to query our database, so we're going to set results of variable equal to MySQL query and pass in our query. If MySQL affected 
rows is greater than zero, return true, otherwise return false. And I'm going to jump right into the save query, the save category. Uh, same thing, set up a new connection, we get connection, uh, query is equal to, come on, insert into categories, cat name, values, and I'm going to use our post cat name variable. Result MySQL query, pass in our query. If MySQL, oops, affected rows is greater than zero, return true, otherwise return false. So just like in the last time, uh, we're using the same thing. Um, one last thing we need to do is down here is the get category ID. Set up a new connection through get connection. Oops. Query equals select star from categories where ID is equal to the ID. So now we need to run get the results from that. MySQL query, pass in our query, and return the results from that. All right, so all of our functions are now set. Our forms are now set. We just need to build the category.php page. Um, Let's jump right over to that. It's very similar to the uh, contact page, opening and closing PHP tags. Start a session. We need to oops, check if there is no session logged in variable. Then we want to send the person back header location index.php and now we can start our include so include once include functions.php include once includes forms.php and now we're going to check and do our checks for our post data Let's check if our ID is greater than zero if it is then we're just updating Now, if our updated variable is equal to true, which naturally just an if statement with the variable, so it's, it checks if it is true, um, our header location is going to be list.php. If it is not true, We're going to display error message. There was oops, error updating your category. So now we're going to do an else. So if the information does or if, if there is no ID, we're saving a new 
entry. So we're going to do save, save category. Post if dollar sign saved is true. Header, oops, location list.php. Otherwise, we're going to display error message. There was an error saving up your category. So that is all of our checks. Now we're going to do include once includes header.php. Our ID, and we're going to get the ID from the get array. Get our cat resources. Set that equal to oops, get category. Pass in our ID and our cat. Our current category is going to be MySQL fetch a sock cat resources. Now we're just going to echo out a div in the class of form div just for CSS purposes. And we're going to display our categories form. And we're going to pass in our cat resource. Oops. All right, so that should be everything for our category update piece. If I go back to my screen, refresh, and click on category workers, you can see that our category name is cat now coworkers. Um, if I click on, if I change this and call it Charlie, click on save, you can now see that our category name is Charlie. I'm going to change this back to coworkers. Click on save, and now it's coworkers. Uh, there is one last piece that I do want to do. Um, it's adding the menu to the top, which is very simple. We'll go back to our list.php page. Oh, I need to open that. There we go. And then right under cat, I'm going to echo the div id equals menu. And within that, I'm going to create a bunch of anchors. So I'm going to do href equals contact.php. New contact. Echo. Oops. I'm going to put in a pipe just to separate each of these. We'll do one for category. Create a new category. Close our anchor tag. Echo. Add in a new pipe. And last, we're going to echo logout.php. Now, if I save that and I jump back over to our screen, we now have create a new contact. If I were to add this, I select the category. I'll put it under Nick's because there's nothing there. Nick, Nick Johnson. Phone one three 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 four 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 five 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 five. All right. Add an email, and if I click on save, we now have Nick Johnson in on, under the Nick's category. Um, one last thing that I do want to do before I close out this uh, this video is. 
enter our header information. Uh, this isn't really anything very important, but I'm going to add a doc type. And I am going to do HTML1 strict. Add in HTML and add in our head information. So I'll do title. contact tutorial and I am just gonna do this now rather than uh, wait for the other video uh, text CSS I'm gonna add a link to our style sheet those of you who are not interested in adding any styles to this uh, don't worry about it you don't really need to uh, include this There we go. So now if I go back to my browser and I look at my page, I refresh, you should see the name or the title change here. Um, the next video I'm just going to be going through and modifying some of the CSS so that way you guys can, uh, can use that in your program. Um, those of you who want to expand upon this, feel free to. Uh, hopefully you learned a few things with this, but I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.